Okay, what's your full name? Gatsy here, Buckshot Prospector. I hope you're well and I hope life is treating you well. I have a bit of a problem. I kind of forgot my yabby pump down on the creek and I don't know if it's going to be there. So I thought, well, may as well take the opportunity to make another yabby pump. Uh, you may have already seen me do a video on Chris's channel, how to make one. But um, with this video, I'm going to show you how to add an extra attachment to the yabby pump so you can actually get into some crevices. So I'll show you exactly what um, I'll be using. Here's the basic essentials that you need to make a basic bait pump or yabby pump. Um, you can change things up a little bit, but these are the core um, ingredients, I guess you could say. So we have the main parts, which are two PVC pipes, one bigger and one smaller. I've got two caps that slide over the top of the bigger PVC pipe. I've got a garden hose attachment for a sprinkler system. You'll see what I do with that later on. I have a foam gutter stopper. So you can pick these up at most hardware stores. I have some garden hose sprinkler system tubing. The main tools that I'll be using, essential thing, gaffer tape. I probably don't have enough. I've got a, um, I don't want, know what they're called. Um, a hole driller thing. <laughs> I've got a drill, I've got an electric saw and I've got an electric drill. So the first thing that I need to do is cut this PVC pipe to size. So I'm going to use the saw and I'll put that in a vise. All I have to do is cut this PVC pipe. I want it to be a little bit longer this time because I found that it'll be easier to just go for deeper water with this and I won't be bending over as much. So um, yeah, I'll get the saw and start cutting. Now the next part. Okay, that's probably shorter than I need it to be, but that'll do anyway. What I need to do next is cut a hole in one of these, and then I'll cut a smaller hole in another one of these. So we're gonna just do that now. Normally I would use a drill press, I've got one, but I'm going to do this just for this video, so. Right, we cut a hole in that one. Just change the drill bit over. That drill bit was really blunt. We've cut two different size holes. Now the next step. We need to make a plunger. So this will go through the bigger pipe. But the problem is the foam plug is a bit too big for the, um, the larger pipe. So what you do, very simple, is get the pipe. And cut with it and it will be the perfect radius. See how it's cut out? Now I can just trim it off. And then pull it out. So we've got a plug cut now. Next step, all you have to do is get the PVC pipe and the plug and put the pipe into the foam stopper. So we've got that. Now you just get the gaffer tape. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, gaffer tape's not gonna last a long time. Trust me, it lasts a very long time. And it's cheap and easy to replace. You don't have to go and try and find a really specific washer and, and nut and everything. You just get some gaffer tape and just rewrap it and bingo, it works again. So what you do, Simple as just wrap it around, make sure that it connects with the PVC pipe, wrap it around like that, break it off and then just repeat. 
Doing multiple layers will prevent wear and tear on the gaffer tape and it will also help with the suction within the uh, pipe itself. Um, I suggest that you also double over the gaffer tape at the end and that will prevent wear and tear on the foam as well. And then just wrap that around again. So you wrap it around like this. So it's nice and tight. Right, that should do the trick. See that? That's got a lot of suction. Now, push that down just to the end like that. Then I'll get the bigger hole cap, put down that, put it down like that, and that's the core of the Abbey Pump. What you can also do is just put a bit of gaffer tape over the cap that's joining the larger PVC pipe, and that will prevent that from popping out. All right, the next thing you should do, I forgot to mention about this, is try and make some like a lip for the to prevent the pipe from sliding through. So I've just got like a bit of wire here. I'm just going to wrap it around like this. Roughly tie it. So I've wrapped it like this. And then I'm just going to coat that in some gaffer tape. So what this will do is uh, prevent this pipe from sliding out. Just give it a few wraps of the gaffer tape. And there you go, there's the Yobi pump. Next step. Now we're gonna add an attachment to put into crevices. The last video that I did, I never made one of these. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, make one of these. You may have seen other crevicing attachments similar to this, but they all use metal um, pipes uh, at the end of the um, attachment. Problem is with metal, if you get tiny little rocks up them, then you're not going to get that rock out. You spend like an hour trying to get it out. So what I'm using is the sprinkler system hose. It's really cheap, like five bucks for a big roll of this. The reason why I'm using this is because it bends. And it means that if you do get a rock or whatever up there, you just have to squeeze it and bang it and it will just come straight out. You don't have to sit there with a, a stick trying to poke it out. You don't have any of those problems. There's another thing you can do with this that adds an extra bonus to it. So um, yeah, I'll show you what we have to do. I'm gonna have to use a bit of necessary force for this. I'm using a mallet. Right, that's snug as a bug. Now with these pipes, <clears throat> um, I suggest maybe not just putting it on like that. I recommend getting like a lighter or a heat gun and just heating up the plastic that'll mean that it will mold around the joint a lot better so I've just got a lighter here so I'm heating it up like that around the surface and then I'll push that down and that will create a nice uh, joint I've cooled that off in water so it now has molded around that joint there now the extra thing that I was going to do with this, you, you've got a radius like that of a pipe. Sometimes you get really, really thin crevices. So what I do is I heat up this end. Make sure it's really hot. And then what I do Let's get something heavy and then you've got an extra thin pipe so you can stick that in you can adjust them to however you want them to you can also make multiples of these so you can have different attachments longer uh, pipes if you want um, or shorter ones whatever you really want to do so um, yeah I'll show you how this all operates 
So we've got the bait pump and we've got the attachment. Goes on like that. Done. That was a very, very quick video how to make a um, Gadzi style bait pump or Yabby pump. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps some of you make some extra attachments and what have you and make a Yabby pump and what have you. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, see ya.